So we basically have a clock that has a hidden camera inside, so just like one of those spy cameras that you've seen in the movies. This camera can also connect to your home's Wi-Fi and you can basically access it from anywhere, so you can watch this camera basically anywhere in the world. The clock itself looks and works just like any other clock out there, so if you'd see this on the wall you wouldn't actually look at it twice, so it looks just like any other clock. If you look very very close to number 10 you're actually gonna see the lens, but you have to look very very careful at the clock otherwise you're not gonna be able to see it, so it's very well hidden. And now you're probably wondering, what could we possibly do with this? Well, if you have a babysitter, if you have someone um, coming to check on your pet, if you have a contractor coming or you just want to spy on someone, you could um, use this for um, that particular purpose. Now, don't put this in a wash because I'm pretty sure that's going to be illegal, but you get the point. On the back of this we have the clock's mechanism and that's um, separate from the camera and uh, it just works like any other regular clock and just uh, below that you can open that plastic door and you can access the controls for the camera. You can also tilt the camera up or down depending how um, high this is sitting on the wall so you have that option um, in there as well. So to set this up it's quite simple and it takes only about 2 minutes. First of all you're gonna have to charge this um, when you get it so just uh, leave it in the charger for a few hours and whenever that's done you just have to turn it on. First things first you're gonna have to download an app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and install that on your smartphone. Once that's done you're gonna open your Wi-Fi connections and check for um, the camera's Wi-Fi connection. After you connect to that Wi-Fi network you can open that app that um, you installed previously and you're gonna see the camera showing up right there. Just click on it and then you're gonna get an option to actually enter um, your home's Wi-Fi network. So connect the camera to your home's Wi-Fi network by entering um, your Wi-Fi's network's password. Once that's done the camera inside this clock will reboot and uh, then you'll have to wait till it comes back online. And uh, whenever it comes back online it will actually be connected to your home's Wi-Fi network. From that point on you can basically access it from anywhere in the world as long as uh, you have an internet connection, so that's simple. There are a whole bunch of settings available um, in the app so you can change settings for the camera but the most important one would be the notifications. So you can set the camera to send you a notification on your smartphone um, every time it detects movement. So basically you get a notification on your phone, you open the app and you can see whatever is happening um, on the camera, so whatever the camera sees. You can also change the resolution of the recordings and the, the maximum resolution is 720p, you can turn on or off um, the motion detection and so on, so you definitely have a lot of um, options in there. If you want the camera to send you emails you're gonna have to set that up uh, as well. Every time the camera detects movement it will save that recording onto the SD card. Now you can access the SD card right from your smartphone or you can just take out the SD card and plug it in um, to your computer. The quality of the recording is not exceptional but you can definitely tell what's happening uh, in whatever um, recordings you have. And these are a few recordings that I've done with this camera. So as you've seen the video quality was decent but the sound was a bit uh, muffled but you can definitely tell what was um, happening in that video and who was in um, that video. So now you can get a spy cam um, of your dreams. Alright guys hopefully you enjoyed this